Welcome back to part two of evaluating this triple integral over the region E, where E is the solid tetrahedron defined by these four vertices. In part one, we determined the order of integration given by dy, dx, dz, and the corresponding limits of integration. In this part, we want to evaluate this triple integral. So we first integrate with respect to y, treating z as a constant, and therefore the antiderivative is going to be z times y. Now I need to find big F of B minus big F of A. So we'll perform substitution for Y. So we're going to have Z times the quantity 3 minus 3 fifths X minus 3 halves Z minus, when Y is 0, of course we have 0. Notice how the new integrand function is going to be 3Z minus 3 fifths XZ minus 3 halves Z squared when we distribute z. And now we integrate with respect to x, treating z as a constant. So the antiderivative is going to be 3z times x, or 3xz, minus 3 fifths z times x squared divided by 2. Let's write that as times 1 half x squared z, and then minus 3 halves z squared times x, or minus 3 halves x z squared. Now we need to find big F of b minus big F of a by performing substitution for x. This is where things start to get messy. First, we substitute 5 minus 5 halves z for x. So here we'll have 3z times x, which is 5 minus 5 halves z. And then we have minus, this is going to be 3 tenths. And we have z, and then x squared becomes the quantity 5 minus 5 halves z squared minus, here we're going to have 3 halves z squared times 5 minus 5 halves z. And then when x is 0, each term has a factor of x, so we'll have minus 0. So now we'll go ahead and distribute here and here, and then square the quantity 5 minus 5 halves z. So distributing here, we're going to have 15z, and then minus 15 halves z squared. Here we'll have minus 3 tenths z times, when we square 5 minus 5 half z, we're going to have 25 minus 25z plus 25 fourths z squared. We'll still have to come back and distribute here. Then distributing here, we're going to have minus 15 halves z squared. And then we have plus 15 fourths z cubed. And now we still need to distribute here and then combine like terms. So here we're going to have negative 75 tenths z or minus 75 tenths z and then plus 75 tenths z squared. And then we're going to have minus 75 fortieths z cubed. And we still have minus 15 halves z squared plus 15 fourths z cubed. We now need to combine like terms. We have two z cubed terms here and here. We have three z squared terms here, here, and here. And we have two z terms here and here. So you may want to check this, but this does simplify to 15 eighths z cubed minus 15 halves z squared plus 15 halves z. And uh, finally, we integrate with respect to z. So the anhydrous derivative is going to be 15 eighths times z to the fourth divided by 4 
minus 15 halves times z to the third divided by three plus 15 halves times c squared divided by two. So first when z is two, let's write this as 15 30 seconds times two to the fourth minus, here we can simplify, there's one three and three and five threes and 15. So we'd have minus five halves times two cubed plus, this would be 15 fourths times two squared. And then when z is zero, notice each term would be zero. So simplifying here, this simplifies nicely to five halves which equals 2.5. So there's quite a bit of algebra here in order to evaluate this triple integral. I hope you found this helpful.